What's good, everybody? How y'all doing out there? What's up? They doing uh, road work over here. Look at all that. Look at all that road work up there that they doing. Good to go. Let's get these bastards. Putting the new road in and all this good stuff. See, that's that's what's changing the the the, the face of driving the truck now because a lot of these new roads that they're putting in, it's not even on the GPS. Some of them is called access roads, but you know, you come to one of these roads and you'd be like, man, it's not even on the GPS. Where the fuck I'm at? You think you made a wrong turn and you actually didn't. New roads comes, those new turnarounds down there, those, those little traffic circles now. You know, especially if it's not on the GPS and you come up to it and it makes a, it says make a right or a left turn and you come up to a traffic circle and you actually got to go around the circle to make those particular turns. I got hoodwinked, everybody. Check it out. That Arby's across the street over there says Arby's. That's the reason why I actually got off and take my 30 minute break. They're closed. There's nothing going on over there at all. The whole thing is shut down. Ah, really don't want Subway. Actually, I got some food in the truck. Let's talk about truck safety. Oh man, truck safety, man. I see a lot of, I see a lot of incidents out here on the road. Um, I've been out here for, for, for a good while now. I mean, I've seen a lot of bad accidents dealing with uh, trucks out here. And uh, it's not a good look. You know, it's not a good look for us at all. Some of it is not our fault, you know. Majority of it comes from four wheelers themselves, but you know, sometimes there is cases that it is the truck driver's fault, you know. Truck driver fatigue, truck driver not paying attention, being distracted, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy that majority of these truck drivers out here gets distracted real easy. I mean, it's easy to the point that we're, we're driving this commercial vehicle and not being aware of our situation that can cause us to get into an accident. Some accidents can be fatal. I mean, the one about a couple of months ago was 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 when the tractor trailer swerved off the off the highway, hit a ditch, truck caught on fire, exploded and and the and the truck driver lost his life. What I want to talk about is is our safety and let me start by saying there's a lot of re there's a lot of there's a lot of issues that for us truck drivers could really get in trouble for you know what i'm saying a lot of youtube truck drivers out there you know i'm i'm one of them you know i'm a youtube but a lot of drivers out there you know they they vlog from their phone while they're driving now don't get me wrong it's 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 a good idea you know what i'm saying i used to do it you know what i'm saying i, I used to do it when i worked for us express you know I, I had my camera set up and i would actually you know vlog while i'm driving now at that time you you thinking to yourself you still being focused on the road, you know, you you paying attention to what you're doing, and and it's it's all well and fine, you know. You 
you talking. So it's sort of like talking to yourself. But sometimes you, you catch yourself glancing at the camera or at the phone, thus taking your eyes off the road. You see what I'm saying? I got plenty of cameras in my truck. Plenty of them. Let me show you guys. There's my cell phone right there, which always has my GPS up and running. There's my dash camera right there, which is always running. Company camera right there, which only runs when it's an event occur. Then there's my other camera over in the corner that records everything like off to the right side or whatever and then as you and I have my uh, my uh, other GoPro camera that is strapped to me all the time and you guys know I have my uh, my cannage is how I get all my uh, all my um, speed footage road footage uh, tripod footage all that good stuff now mind you when I worked it for US Express and I, I gotta admit some of my best videos came from my time with US Express I made some of my I, I made some of my best videos with them I didn't think too much about how I caught my footage you know what I'm saying and a few of the times I did make some footage while I was driving after after I left US Express and I and I looked at some of US Express's uh, videos that I did with them there's only a couple of them that I did while while the camera was facing me and I was driving so I kind of looked at that as well as other youtubers that does it as well I kind of thought to myself I said hmm yeah I can see how that is a safety issue. just one quick glance at the camera that takes your eyes off the road could change everything so I stopped I, I stopped doing in cap footage while driving my other two cameras my dash cameras always always on so if I start talking to myself and start talking uh, giving you know some pointers or something like that while the dash cam is running then that's different you see what I'm saying and that's what you guys that's what I that's what I think you guys should start doing you, you, you youtubers out there that's that's driving with the cameras on you and you know you're vlogging I really don't think that's a good idea to do. Everything with a truck, when you guys come into this to this game, everything with the truck revolves around safety. There's, there's nothing else to it. You know what I'm saying? You're driving all day, and while you're driving, you're always focused on what you're doing. There's technology out here now technology in the truck that really you know distract the driver it really is you got your cell phones you got your your headsets even though they even though the the headsets that these drivers wear for their cell phones is supposed to you know supposed to be no hands or whatever that's still a distraction because you probably might be talking to your wife, son, kid, baby mama, whoever. And you might get into a, a argument or a heated conversation that might take your mind away from driving. That's why you guys never see me with the headsets on. No more. I, you know, I lost my headset. Paid two hundred dollars for that thing, and I know where I lost it too. It's a funny story with that. Everywhere I went with those things on, everybody, everybody knew that I was a truck driver. Wherever I went, if it was the casinos, if it was just walk down the street, whatever. If I had those, if I had those headsets around my neck or on my head, everybody knew that I was a truck driver. And that was cool. I ain't mind it. I mean, you know, somebody walked up to me and said, you must be a truck driver. Yes, 
Why, yes, I am a truck driver. Those are dead, dead, dead giveaways. You know, you wear those and you automatically know that you're a truck driver. There's a few that wear them that's not, but that's still a distraction too. Now the cell phone is becoming mini monitors now. These phones are coming little monitors and you can, and with good data, you get to watch videos. You get to watch Netflix, you get to watch YouTube. A lot of these drivers watch videos while they're driving. I, I don't know, I don't know it personally, you know, but I'm just saying, I, I seen a few YouTube videos that shows drivers that got they, they got the, the, the little monitor, iPad, computer set up in their truck and they watch videos or whatever and all like that while they're driving, which is cool, but it's still a distraction. But I could turn I could turn my phone off blackface and I got it going through the Bluetooth speaker, I mean Bluetooth stereo here in the truck, and I I can listen to music, podcasts, audible, I can listen. But that that don't distract me from what I'm doing because number one, I'm not watching it, and number two, I'm listening to it. Everything with the phone, you should have set up through the Bluetooth speaker anyway. I, when the phone rings, I answer it, answer phone, and I, I talk to the person through the Bluetooth speaker here in the truck. Other distractions, you know, my company camera, that's a distraction. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, then you don't have nothing to worry about. You won't get that satcom message or that phone call. GPS on other on among other things. You know, GPS is our distraction. It's a lot of distractions here in the truck. You know, but the Qualcomm, that's a distraction. All this technology in the truck. But it's you that got to stay focused. Because see, not only, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Not only that you can get in trouble, but you can get in big trouble. All right? We're truck drivers. We get scrutinized first, even if the accident or incident is not our fault. You see what I'm saying? If it's not our fault, we still get scrutinized after the investigation now if the investigation proves that we was doing something stupid while while we was driving then of course the book is going to be thrown at us hard but after the investigation proves that we wasn't doing nothing stupid then of course we're gonna of course we're gonna get off here's what i'm saying don't do nothing stupid all right if you're tired, stop driving. Get out and walk. This like I do. I I used to, let me tell you, I used to drive straight eight and then take my half an hour break and then do maybe about another eight hours. I mean, about another eight hours. No, about another three. You only get 11 hours to drive. <laughs> oh my God, another eight hours. Who would, who, what truck driver would kill for another eight hours of drive time? I used to do that, but I don't do it no more. I, um, now that, you know, now that I know I got to get out, stretch the legs, move around, get the blood pumping, you know, get my head from, you know, from, from the road, take a half an hour and get it back. That's what I do now. I drive for like maybe four four and a half hours five hours then i will come to a truck stop or or uh or rest area or whatever the thing and get out of the truck and you know get my exercise in you know walk around for a few minutes take your 30. you don't have to necessarily it don't necessarily have to be 30 minutes you know what i'm saying take a half an hour 45 minutes or whatever you do that's what you do you do you do that just to, to rejuvenate yourself now some of you guys drive at night you, you night drive and I get that I understand but the same concept goes drive four five hours get out do what you need to do reset yourself and get back in the truck and go that's what you do if you get fatigued 
trust me, fatigue in this business comes on quick. Boredom comes on quick while you're driving. That's why you that's why you got your music. You might want to say, yeah, a little bit of distraction is good to keep you focused. A lot of distractions is not good because it'll take it'll, it'll take you off of. Does that make sense? Does that make sense at all? I hope it do. I hope it makes sense. All right. I, I hope it makes a little bit of sense, especially for you new guys that's coming out here. Man. A lot of you guys is coming out here for various reasons, all right? But I just want to let you know, the main reason involving the truck is always safety first. You, you're gonna get hit with safety all the time. Safety this, safety that. Make sure the truck is safe. Make sure this truck is safe to drive. Make sure that you safe driving the truck. Make sure that when you're driving, make sure you focus and stay safe. That's the same thing that I say everything, I mean every time. Every driver says that, everybody in the office says that. The first thing they say, stay safe driver. Have a safe trip driver. Make sure you get there safe driver. You see what I'm saying? Safety is the key to driving a semi truck once you get that in and remember that then i don't think you're gonna have any problems being a truck driver out here well you might have other problems but safety is not going to be one of them because you going to know that once you start up this truck Make sure everything cycle. Turn down the radio. Start up the truck. Once you know you start up this truck, everything else is out the window. And the only thing that's in here is safe travels. So that's why I just wanted to come on and tell you guys, you know, all these YouTubers out here, you know what I'm saying, me included, stop driving with the camera facing you, all right? I mean, if you want to vlog, go ahead and vlog, but use one of your dash cameras to do it. You don't have to worry about it's on you, it's facing out, it's capturing the road, it's capturing the sights. You're, you're, you're talking. It's like you narrate. You see what I'm saying? Don't have it faced on you because if the camera's faced on you and something hap should happen, they got it all on video. Remember that. First thing that the cop's going to take is your phone. Here's a tip. Here's a tip. And all GoPro cameras have this. Set your GoPro in the window. All right. I'm about to. I'm about. To, I'm about to switch. I'm about to switch right now. So I can. So I can show you guys how to do this. All right. So switching over to the Galaxy Eight in three. Right here. All right now. Here's a tip for you guys, all right? I I got the GoPro 5 right here, okay? Um, in the settings, there's a settings on here that you can have this camera record video and take pictures at the same time. It's in the settings. I'm not gonna go through all of that. Just Google it and it'll tell you how to do it. But with this with this camera you get yourself a good tripod like what i got right here a good tripod all right and what you do is you put it over there all right now here is a lot of space you could probably get a um I, I could probably get some velcro or something like that and and you know velcro that down and set set the camera up just like that turn it on and there's your video. You can get your road footage 
and it takes pictures at the same time at the same time you can do that all right just leave it just leave it right there or whatever you want to set it and just push on and it'll take pictures at the same time and it'll take video at the same time let me go back all right so don't don't leave it right here you know because that's a distraction you know you don't want to leave it right there all right you want to put it over there in the passenger side where it's out of the way so we're going to switch back to the gopro in three yeah so that's how you do that with the gopro now you guys know how i get all my road footage now you guys know how i feel about recording while you're driving all right so with that said